And we've got a question from the crowd, and for that we bring in Katie the Referee Girl here on Nacho Ordinary Sports Show. We haven't had any challenges tonight, Katie, so I we know. want to get you in on the action. It's borderline boring, and I love the Chiefs, which hurts even more. <laughs> Um, no, no challenges yet, but uh, I do hear that you, sir, have a lot to do with the NFL adopting the instant replay. Instant replay, yeah. <laughs> Back in 1979, we were in the championship game against Pittsburgh, and the infamous Mike Renfro non-catch. No it was a down. great catch at a critical inbound. time. He was inbound. You know, it's freezing. We're, you know, we're moving the ball. It's a late in the third quarter. We tie the ball game with this, this touchdown pass, and, you know, we've got our momentum going. We might beat the Giant, you know, but... Unfortunately, uh, we kind of woke the sweet sleeping giant. Uh, it was called a non-catch, but that is the reason instant replay is in the game today. They use that play, and unfortunately, it was a great catch that never counted. I believe we have uh, some video, some archival footage from the uh, 79 AFC Championship game. The Houston Oilers and the Pittsburgh it, right Steelers. I know. I was like, <laughs> that's Steve Belichick. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's before that's all I was born. Here's the, here's the play. And there's no replay wow. in these days. Wow. Ridiculous. The officials ruled Mike Renfro out of bounds there. And he's, he's not he, happy. He wasn't too happy, happy about it. Neither was Bum. Look at him. Neither were any of us. Kirsten like a sailor. What is Bum wearing? <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's How many sheep did he kill for that The coat. game clearly <laughs> was in Pittsburgh. If that game was in Houston, you guys would have gotten that call. Yeah. No question about it. Yeah. Jim Tunney Jack was, Lambert. Yeah, I've got a friend, Mike Carey. <laughs> was my roommate at <laughs> Santa Clara, patches. one of the best referees in the game right now. And I asked him, I said, did you ever see that catch? He said, yeah. He said, I said, was Here's it a catch? Replay. He said, yes, it was, it was a great catch. This is what I the mean, officials couldn't look at. He's got possession one, two. one two. Done. That's, 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 one, two. that's it. He said he was, he was bobbling right. it going oh, out of bounds. Oh, see? Give me you a see him bob Do you see him bobbling it? He has that ball oh, in his. Oh, camera angle. He's got it. He's got it again. I thought you were going to get it. I mean, baseball can pull it off. They should have seen it. Yeah, there's only two cameras back there. And he's got it. He's got it from the eight years. He's not But the officials in those days couldn't look at the replay. Yeah, Matt, like no. Otherwise, but they, they would have gotten that they call. Didn't, right. They didn't have the guts to make that call at that In guy Pittsburgh. right there. In, right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That guy right there, Tony, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did he say to you right words. there? Oh, you wouldn't want to hear what I was saying to him. Right <laughs> <there>. <laughs> <laughs> now, was that late in the game? What part of the game? It was, was about uh, two minutes to go in the third quarter. Okay. Okay, yeah, there you go. Right nice. there. And that so was 17 tied 10. It up, 17 tied 17. It up. This yeah. was the first or second time you guys played the Steelers in the second playoffs? Second time in the second. playoffs. Uh, 78 and 79. So they knocked back on back the back. door first. This was I supposed was to be kicking the door Kicked in. Kicked the son bitch mm. in. Right. Was <laughs> <up on door>. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't even say that, but yeah. Next year. Next, the next, next year. year. I was gone. Right. <laughs> so. You guys still, I mean, it, you I know, it's a bittersweet memory, but you guys came home to a sold-out Astrodome. Twice. That yeah. uh, actually one of the stations uh, that I'm a part of, uh, partner with, KILT, put yeah. together at the Astrodome. I really want these guys to experience that because it's something I can yeah. talk about until I'm blue in the face. But in, it, that's what I love about this city. Every time I re remember those days and, and those, those games coming back, I get goosebumps thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Because you drove from the airport. They, they asked us to deplane and come through Terminal A. People were stacked tenfold back to the mm -hmm. to the walls, all the way out the terminal. Got in the bus, drove out, came down the JFK Boulevard. You couldn't find a parking space anywhere on JFK Boulevard. You got to the Beltway, you couldn't find a parking space. You got to 45, you couldn't find a parking space. Wow. People were out Goodness. there That's on blessing. their cars yeah. cheering. When we pulled into the Astrodome, there were 80,000 people yeah. in there. I mean, it would look like ants. 80,000 people. 80,000 people in the Astrodome. They're on the floor and to the rafters. I was there. You, the, the windows were up in the yeah. bus, and you could, I could yell at you, and you couldn't hear me. I'm That's just saying, how loud legally, it, it could hold 50. So <laughs> yeah. imagine how tight that was. They were a little was. over the fire code that oh, night, yeah. but that, they didn't care. And they pulled the fire buses right on right the floor. Right, on, right onto the floor. Right, right onto the, the floor. Yeah. Right onto the floor. Yeah. It was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. You've never seen that? You yeah. I've, heard about, I've heard about it. you got right. a YouTube. It's on YouTube. And it's you guys had to be down in the dumps coming home after losing again to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Did you ever cross your mind that you get that kind of reception for a team? No. They – and. You know, we, we were on the plane coming back. I said, well, I wonder if they're going to be out there again. And the pilots came over the loudspeaker and said, you guys aren't going to believe this. He said, but they're out there again, and they're, it's better than last year from what we hear. Wow. And it was. Yeah. It really was. That's, what, that's when Bum made his famous. 
He was always good at that, coming up with phrases <laughs> in, the, in the heat of the battle. He was he was great and great. We actually, uh, our crack staff has rounded up the, uh, actually we're putting together, we found the video of the buses coming back to the dome, the reception oh, cool. Man. Uh, back in those days. Hey, we got He's a pretty good research fast. staff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bum Phillips, you mentioned him. We were talking about how he, he seemed like sort of the grandfather, the fatherly figure and very mild-mannered. What was he really like behind closed doors with you guys? He was, uh, he was like a, a father figure to a lot of us. He was just a real down-to-earth guy. He, he believed that, uh, you know, you were a man, you could be responsible for your actions, and he left a lot of responsibility up to the players. He wasn't a tyrant. He wasn't a rule maker and, and all. He just... He was an easygoing guy, and if you didn't cross him, you were you were fine. But if you know you got on his bad side, you didn't want to be there. Yeah. And he he was known for taking guys that maybe didn't get a, uh, I guess didn't have the the marquee resume, the and, seal and of guys, approval. Yeah, right. I mean, yeah, we had a few guys like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> guys that, that huddle, other teams maybe didn't want to bring in. You know, that huddle was a little dangerous Davis. at times. But it fit the sort of the oil field mentality you mentioned in the one-on-one yeah. -on -one segment in the '70s. Blue-collar right? workers. You know, we were we were blue-collar team. You know, and I think that uh, I think the people appreciated that. All right, I think we've dug up that video from uh, re the return home from the Love You Blue Oilers to the Astrodome in '79. Look at that! Wow. That's me right there with the pom pom. I know, I see you. <laughs> How do they get on the field? How do they get in the stadium? The center we field drove drive in, it opened up. Drove in the, no, no, uh, I'm talking about people? how the people get in the oh. stadium. Oh, right. they just they climbed fit in the over. They couldn't fit in the stands. 80,000 80, or 50,000. Holy cow. And the score I actually board. watched an Astros game in the, Houston, in the Astrodome when I was This is 78, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is, a, oh, this is the first trip back? Yeah, this is the first one. Yeah, that's nothing. So two years <laughs> in a row you guys had. Two, the, the, the 79, that whole floor was covered with people covered. and the rafters. Now you have to understand, to put this in perspective, the city of Houston, if you set aside the AFL championship for the original Houston Oilers, wow. We're had never now. seen a championship <laughs> team. And that you guys had come as close as any team yeah. had come to winning a championship. And look at those pom-poms going. The Love You Blue There's a song going on. <laughs> Can you sing it? I, yeah, I can't do it Come justice. On. No. I hate it. Where's Carl Mock? I know. Um, <laughs> Carl Mock will sing that song on demand, no, he won't, right? Yeah, you know, he'll sing the Oiler Cannonball. Oh, yeah. 